How to use LastPass for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'll be telling you what LastPass is and how to use it. Well, basically LastPass works like every other password manager out there, but uh, this particular platform uses an implemented AES-256-bit encryption with PBKDF2, SHA-256 and salted hashes to ensure a complete security in the cloud. Well, I think I don't know how that works, but basically it means that it has a layer by layer type of um, encryption and only you can access them using your first layer of encryption, which is your master password. So make sure that you create a strong master password, you guys, because that's the only way you can protect all the data that you're planning to input in LastPass. So I'm just go ahead and input a strong password right here. And then let's see what's next. Okay, so you'll need to confirm the master password. So make sure that you're inputting the same password you've inputted later. Uh, a while ago, I mean. And uh, yeah, you can also put in a reminder about your master password. So let me just put in something you like. <laughs> okay, so let's create our free account. And let's start to explore what LastPass has to offer. And like almost password managers, it'll ask you to install their extension. Well, this is their way to make sure that you use their services frequently. So let's go ahead and install it. And once it's done installing, okay, let me just wait for that to install you guys. All right, it's, it's taking its sweet time. All right, so let's go ahead and wait for it to install. There you go. And it's already installed. You can turn on sync right now if you want to, or you can choose to do it later. So, let's click on, yes, I'm in. Last bus claim that your data is encrypted and decrypted at the device level. So it means that only your devices can access your password. And they also said that data stored in your vault is kept secret even from LastPass. So they really can't access your LastPass account. So now let's go ahead and input our Facebook details, Facebook login details right here. Because uh, once you've set up your LastPass account, apparently, and immediately ask you if you want to add in your first password. So let me just go ahead and do that. And let me put my login details right here. Okay. All right, you can choose to save it. And, oh, there you go. LastPass is now getting information or getting your login information. You can try the autofill feature right away. So let me just go ahead and try that. Just log out my account right here. And let's try its autofill feature if it works. Okay, what's happening? All right, let me just go ahead and log out again. Just to make sure that I'm totally logged out from my device. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's fast and it's already filled out even without me doing anything, just as long as you install the extension. So yeah, no problem with their autofill. I, I think it's it's fast and you don't even need to click anything, just um, install the extension. And then after that, it automatically uh, fills it up. And as you can see here, the Facebook login details is already saved. And you can choose from an array of features from the sidebar, like passwords. So you can choose from any of these platforms, Google, Facebook, Amazon, PayPal, live.com. Well, these are the ones that are already integrated. And you can add in more login details if you want to just type in a URL right there. And you can also make a folder. And let's go ahead and try to create a folder. Let's uh, put in finance and then uh, yeah, if you, if you want to add a subfolder, you can do it too. But let's not create a subfolder for that. All right. So once you want to enter your 
finance accounts or financing details, you can do so by adding them in the folder called finance uh, that we created. And you can also add notes, you guys. So let me just go ahead and try to add notes right here. So let me just put in my house access codes. Uh, so basically, it's pretty easy to use this platform. Just type in what, to, yeah, just type in the information that it asks you to. It's really your choice what to put. So okay, let's go ahead and yeah, I can also add in a document right there. And you can also add in your notes right away right here in the text box. So I'm just put in house key. Uh, what else do we need to put in? Like, uh, for example, house two key, if you have two houses. And of course, office key. This one works really well when you have a smart home and you want to um, share your details to the people that you trust or to your family members in case something happens. I mean, we don't know, right? Not only that, you can also add addresses. Well, just click this red button right here. And then... Uh, you can start to fill out the informations that it asks you to. Like, for example, the name of this address. So you can put in residence right here. And you can add it to a folder right away. And let's click in personal. Well, then the list goes on. You can fill it out yourself. First name, middle name, last name, username, gender. Well, it's weird that it asks the gender. The birthday and a lot more down to the postal code right there. And you can also add in a note right at the end of the pop-up window. And not only can you add addresses, you can also add payment cards. For the payment card, you can do so by clicking the uh, red button right there. And you can put in the name like MasterCard and immediately put it into a folder like uh, what we did with the addresses a while ago. So for this, let's add it in finance. So yeah. Basically, this is how you add your card and you can put in a note as well, just like every other tab right here on the sidebar. So let's go ahead and put in company card. And not only can you add payment cards, but you can also add your bank account details if you want to secure your details somewhere safe. And then it works basically the same, just like the payment cards and all the other features right here in the sidebar. So I'll just put in a name right here, my personal bank account, and you can add it into a folder again called finance it's well basically it's a finance because a uh, bank account is yeah finance account so yeah these are the informations that it will need from you well it's up to you if you really want to give up this information and if you trust trust last bus but but according to them their their da your data is encrypted and even LastPass cannot access them and you can also add in a multi-factor authentication if you want to well like all password managers it shows you your security score how secure are you on the internet, on the web? Well, it says here that you're 20% secure. Well, it doesn't show much because we haven't inputted a lot of details. But if you start to input a lot of details, you'll actually see here how safe you are. Yeah. And there's also this uh, tab called Sharing Center. Well, basically, this tab shows you the folders or the data or the records that are showed or that are shared with you or that are shared with others. So you can go ahead and choose here the recipient's email address. So let me just put in my other email right here. Okay. And you can choose what items to share. You can choose any items from the folders that you created. So after then, you can send a verification or you can share right away. And let me just go ahead and discard it because it, I don't really have to share anything as of now. And uh, emergency access is a pretty cool feature, you guys. It lets you add people you trust and people who trust you will also be shown here. So if you want to add someone to like access your LastPass account if in case something bad happens to you, well, God forbid. And yeah, this is basically it, you guys. What do you think about LastPass and how does it compare to other password managers out there? Well, I think all of password managers are the same, but this one offers something new called the uh, emergency access. So what do you guys think?